To get my attention, though, he took everything from me. See, God can get your undivided attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in 2005, he took everything from me. I don't know. I thought I had made it during the Kings of Comedy because that was really all I ever asked God for. I just wanted to be one of the premier stand-ups in the country. That's all I ever wanted. Kings of Comedy was it. Biggest comedy tour in the history of comedy. And we sold more tickets than anybody. And we set new records. And this was before social media and all of that. It was a bad, bad tour, man. I thought, I, I thought that was it. But the funny thing, though, man, about God, God's plan is always better than your plan. I wish I understood that years ago. Because I just kept working my plan. And because God gives us the power of choice, he allows us to work your plan. So if you don't come to me and ask me what my plan is, I give you the power of choice, I'm going to let you work your plan. I might even let your plan come true. But oh boy, if you just turn around and ask me what I got planned, I'm going to blow your wig back, man. And I thought the Kings of Comedy was it. I had reached the apex. We was making a lot of money. I was touring. And then uh, God said, OK, you through? He said, watch this. And then in 2005, but to get my attention, though, he took everything from me. See, God can get your undivided attention. So in 2005, he took everything everything from me. I got divorced. I looked up in 2005. I had $1,700 left. All the money I had. I was down to $1,700. He took me completely down. Had my undivided attention. I said, well, I ain't got no more plans, God. What you got? He said, oh, you're asking me? I go, yeah. I said, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. But I got no plan for this comeback. He said, I'll get you back. And boy, Lord, have mercy. Come on. First thing he did was, I'm going to take you. This is when I learned about the power of women. See, you can be successful as a man. You can reach certain levels of success. But there are no great men without women. There are no great men without women. There's some great women out there, but ain't no great men without women. You can't name a great man without a woman. It don't exist, man. So first thing he did was he gave me Marjorie. She climbed down in that hole with me, and she started to come back. I told her, I don't even want to get married right now because I got to recover from this divorce. She said, we'll recover together. She got down in that hole with me, and boy, let me tell you something. From 2005 to today, Look at this today. It's crazy. I went from $1,700. I had a conversation with my wife. I told her we couldn't afford to do something one time. You know what my wife told me one day? She said, Steve, you don't know how much money you have. She said, you make it. I'll watch it. She said, we can go buy that right now. I said, no, baby, it'll wipe us out. She said, no, it won't. She went and bought it. It ain't wipe us out. That's when I knew. I said, this is a bad chick right here. Because right, right, right. I didn't even know what I had. And people kill me. You know, see, you're a man and you don't have enough in you to give your girl credit, then you short. Yeah. You know, why you can't give your girl credit? I'm a star. Look, I'm in front. I'm on TV. What else I need? I need somebody to cover that background. I need somebody to watch my back. She sees I don't see. You get a good ass woman, man, your ass can be something. Because I would have never been this without her. I'm just telling you real talk. That's real talk. I don't do Impossible. Impossible, man. Bad girl. But nothing, nothing beat that God, though, boy. That God, that God, he's a bad boy. You, I don't care what you do. He got something for you. He'll take you places you never thought you'd go. He's a bad something, man. All you got to do is pay attention. Look, I'm telling you, I had, not, I had $1,700 in 2005. What? Now... Whew, he got me rolling, man. It ain't, ain't nothing I can do. That's, but it's all God, though. I'm just telling you. 